I'm Charlie, and this is an FPP short. Nesting a playlist inside of another playlist is a great option if you find yourself doing repetitive things before every show, like turn on smart plugs, AC powered props, doing MQTT commands, or enabling functionality like Remote Falcon Viewer Control before your show. If you're one of those people that have different playlists for every night of the week, or you like to switch things up a lot, this is something for you. In Falcon Player, you can call on one playlist to run inside of another playlist. This can become very powerful if you use multiple playlists or you do multiple holidays where you want the same startup commands and maybe lead out commands to run, but you like to change your songs up and your sequences and the main body of the playlist. Me, for example, before every show, I need to make sure that my outdoor sconce lights on the garage are off, my foyer exterior lights are off, and I turn on remote Falcon viewer control. Now, if I had to change something and I have, say, five different playlists, I'd have to go to every single playlist and actually change out those commands. Where if I nested a playlist inside of a different one, it would only be one spot that I have to change and it would take action in all the other playlists. Here I am in FPP looking at my playlist selection. The playlist I'm gonna look at today is my 2022 weekdays playlist. I usually run one on weekends, one on weekdays. The playlist is pretty simple, and if you notice, it's just three nested playlists inside of this 2022 weekday. So real quick, when this playlist gets called on by the scheduler, it'll go through this show start all days playlist for the lead in. Then it'll play the songs over and over and over while the scheduler allows it to keep repeating. Then when the schedule time is over, it'll go through the lead out and run this end of show shutdown playlist. Nesting a playlist inside of another playlist is really easy. While you're viewing your playlist, just click on the add sequence entry button in the upper right, then from the type dropdown, select playlist. Then you can pick which playlist you want to inject and can place it wherever you need in the lineup. So here I am in my show start all days playlist, and we're gonna run through this real quick. To start my show, I actually nest multiple playlists inside of the show startup playlist. And the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna do an MQTT command to call out to my outside front lights and turn them off. And then it's gonna go into the remote Falcon viewer control and turn that on. Now let's take a peek at what the foyer lights off playlist does. I use home assistant in my house, so a lot of my things run off MQTT commands. This playlist is simple. It's an MQTT command to switch off the foyer lights and garage sconce lights. Whenever a command's being given, I like to do a few second pause before and after each command. This gives FPP time to process anything that's happened previously, but also if there's an outside resource, it may take a few seconds before that resource can take another command. And that's where using a pause will just give everything a few seconds to process. Let's say I need to modify this MQTT command for some reason. This is the single spot I need to edit this. And since other playlists call on this one, any changes here will be reflected out in my other playlists that actually have this playlist nested in it. Now in the scheduler, all you need to do is just schedule the single playlist, uh, one for the weekends, one for the weekdays. And when those playlists get start up, those commands will be triggered that are nested inside of that playlist. Personally, I like doing this because it makes things a lot easier to see what is happening when. I can make an edit in one spot and don't have to worry about remembering every single spot to edit. So that's nested playlists in a nutshell. Thanks for watching FPP Shorts. If you learned anything today, give the video a like, consider subscribing, and I'll be coming back with more FPP tips and tricks real soon.